Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Welcome to the first tutorial I've done on RPG Maker um, in a long time, given that my name is RM2K Dev. Um, anyway, today we're going to be doing this uh, tutorial on how to make a customized one-time chest. So I'm going to speak with the chest, you'll see it says, I wonder if there's something inside. Then, you know, we found a potion, it plays a sound effect, and then the chest remains open. If we speak to the chest again, you know, it says, there was nothing here. Um, this might be useful if you want to do something else with your chest. Say, for instance, the chest was a mimic, or, you know, there was a 10% chance of getting an item again if you talk to the chest, or whatever reason that you may have a, a reason to use a customized chest. Now, I'll jump back into the editor. I'm in uh, event mode, and if you right-click on one of the tiles and select uh, quick event creation, you'll see that there is a treasure chest option which lets you basically specify an item to give the player and a treasure chest also you can, um, it, it generates this uh, basic code here which is what we're very similar to what we're going to make ourselves, the difference being that we can just quickly get it up and running. So if you speak with this chest here, you'll see it says, you know, potion was found. That's it though, nothing else happens. Um, Whereas our chest, you'll see we can display a message, you know, say there's a potion found, speak to the chest again, and multiple things happen. So, let's get started in creating our own chest. I'm going to place it in the middle of these two. Actually, I'm going to move this one over, and then I'll make one right here. I'm going to make a new event. I'm going to say it has a graphic of chests, so you just come down into the chest graphic graphics area, and I'm going to give it the closed chest icon. We also want to tick this box that says direction fix. And uh, we'll copy this event page and then paste it. So now I've got two events with the same sort of settings. In the second page, I'm going to change the graphic to the open chest. And I'm also going to enable the self switch A is on. Now what this means is from the first page, when we set the switch, the self switch A to be on, the next time we speak to the chest, it will take us to the second page and run the code that's in the contents of that. Back in the first page, we are going to create our sound effect first of all, so I'm just going to say play sound effect, it's going to play the sound effect for chest, which is just this one. Then I'm going to add another line of code, which is just going to say show text, I'm going to say I wonder what's inside. Something like that, and we'll give it our face graphic of our player. Then I'm going to create a another event, and that's just going to be to set the variable, so control self switch. A, I'm going to turn that on, and then I'm going to add another one in here, another um, event command, and that's just going to be the change item. We're going to increase potions by one, so we're going to give the player a potion. And then I'm going to say show text, whoa, I found a potion. Something like that. I better capitalize my I for grammar. Anyway, so now, <clears throat> excuse me, now we have a chest that basically plays the sound, um, says, I wonder what's inside, changes the switch A to be on, increases the potions, and then says, wow, I found a potion. Now, the next time we speak to this chest, it's going to take us to page number two, which in page number two, we can do something like play sound effect. So we can, you know, make the chest sound again. Uh, this chest sound effect, there it is. And then I'm also going to say, you know, so me show message, um, uh, the chest was empty. But you could do something else here as well. You could do a whole series of logic to here just to say like, hey, you know, um, you spoke with this chest eight times. I think you can have something now, you know, or the, maybe the chest explodes and something happens. Whatever the reason is, this will give you the ability to do, um, to do, to customize the way that it works. It also gives you an understanding of how the chest system is actually working as well. So let's just quickly run that. Save changes to my project and I'll start the game. And if we have a look at this chest, you'll see, I wonder what's inside. Whoa, I found a potion. And then it goes away. If we take a look at our inventory, you'll see that we have one potion. And if I speak to it again, it will say the chest was empty. We'll continue to say that as well. Now, the one thing that we don't have yet is an animation. So let's go and add that animation in there. I'm going to open up the event. I'm going to go back to the first page. And just after the sound effect and above the text entry, I'm going to insert a, I believe it's on page two to set move route and with this we're basically going to specify um, some directions for the chest to turn because if you think about the chest's graphics it in the end it really is just a character set so we've got um, you know up down left and right movement positions so I'm just going to insert that event again set movement route and what we do here is we first of all want to turn the direction fix off so I'm going to say direction fix off that's the first command 
And then I want to say turn left and then wait three frames. Then I want to say turn right and then wait three frames. And then I want to say turn up and then wait three frames. So now what we have is turn left, um, wait three frames, turn right, wait three, wait three frames, turn up, wait three frames. I don't know why that's moved down to the bottom. Let's just pull that back up to the top. There we go. Um, so we, so it starts with direction fix, sorry, then turn left, wait, turn right, wait, and then turn up, and then wait. Um, then we press OK, and I believe if everything is correct, we can save our project again, and we should have a nice animated chest, a custom chest. And you'll see the chest opens up, I wonder what's inside. Well, I found a potion, and then the chest remains open. And from then on, the animation doesn't play. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also leave any suggestions in the comment section below this video of what you would like to see in RPG Maker uh, moving forward. Cause I'm gonna do this as a nice series of uh, tutorials in RPG Maker. So if you have any suggestions or feature requests for RPG Maker, then please let me know and I'll add them to the list of things uh, that I'm working on. With that said, thanks for watching and bye for now.